Thanks for joining me for this short scale study. Today, we're going to build our tone and technique in the key of concert B flat major. Before we get started, let's talk about some of the notes that we're going to need for concert B flat major. Because the clarinets play this scale known as the C scale for the key of concert B flat major. Maybe you've already known that, but if you didn't, it's because of a transposition rule that all instruments kind of follow. More on that at another time. Let's jump in and talk about these notes though. So we're going to start on the note C and we'll use D, E, F, G, A. We're going to use our, our, our B natural fingering, the one that uses two pinkies and the register key in the back. So we're going to need our B natural and then our high C fingering. So we're going to need that pinky on the right hand side. So number one's major scale and arpeggio quarter notes. Here we go. One, two, ready, begin. <laughs> Now let's play that scale using the eighth note rhythm pattern. I've got my metronome set at 70 beats per minute. One, two, and ready, and go. <laughs> Next, we'll do the major, the major chords exercise, and I'll play the bottom notes. One, two, ready, and. Now we'll move on and play the pattern of thirds. Make sure you're breathing where the author has suggested every four measures. One and two and ready and go. <laughs> Wow, we're really moving today. Let's move on to our chromatic pivot scale. The note that we're going to be returning to in the pivot scale is always G natural. Along the way though, we'll need our F sharp and our F natural and our E. We'll also need our E flat fingering and fingering for E flat in case you've forgotten is two fingers on our left hand with our thumb and our right hand uses the first side key and we activate it using our first finger. And um, then we're going to need a D and then a C sharp. Remember C sharp, we need our pinky for that on our left hand, and then it ends with C. So here goes. One, two, ready. Next, we get to play our chromatic scale, which starts with the note C and then C sharp, D and then D sharp, which is that fingering for E flat, then E, F, which is our thumb in the back. Well, I'm going to use my, my chromatic F sharp fingering today. I'm going to keep my thumb on my F and then I'm going to activate these two side keys here with my right index finger, and with the fingering for F, that's going to allow me to play an F sharp. And then G, and G sharp, and A, and A sharp, which is a B flat. 
finishing with my B natural, two pinkies, and one finger C with my uh, right pinky. So let's give that a try. Our chromatic scale in quarter notes. One, two, ready, begin. <laughs> I used the chromatic F sharp fingering, that thumb in the back and two side keys. I used that fingering for my G flat note on the way down the chromatic scale. Next time you play the chromatic scale, you try that too. Let's finish with a chorale study. I'm going to play the bottom notes of this chorale study. You can challenge yourself and play those top notes and that would be great. Um, you're going to start with the note C, third space C with the register key and three fingers, three fingers, and the right pinky. You're going to need a B natural in there too, so two pinkies for the B natural. And that looks about it. Good luck, here we go. One, two, ready. <laughs> And there you have it, Concert B-flat major. I hope this has been helpful. I hope you've enjoyed me playing along with you. And I hope you'll consider some of the other advanced scale studies, some of the technical studies. And um, you'll, I hope that you'll use this as a resource over and over again. So see you soon. Keep on practicing.